Today I'm going to show you how I get my models from Blender into Unity, specifically models that have normal maps like this lovely Moscow Mule Mug. Also welcome to the channel, I'm Holly, I'm a game developer and I make content all about game development, so if that's your jam I'd love to see you around. Alright so here is my model, as you can see I have the kind of body of the mug and then I have a handle. Right now they are two separate objects but I do want to join them together just to make my life a little bit easier. But before I can do anything, I need to make sure to apply any modifiers as this will completely derail the baking process in the future if I forget that. So let's do that real quick. And then we can head on over to our UV editing tab. Starting with the body of the mug first, I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select A so I can see all of my geometry. And if you started with the primitive shape here, I've started with a cylinder. You may be seeing something here, but anything that I've extruded on top of that is not going to show up. So I still need to unwrap this. So I'm going to select U, smart UV project, give myself a little bit of margin and select OK. And beautiful, we have our first UV map. And now I'm going to repeat the exact same process for the handle. Select A, select U, smart UV project, and then we're good to go. So I'm going to go into object mode, select both of my objects, right click, and then say join. And now if I go back into the UV editing tab, you can see that these guys are actually kind of overlapping each other. So now I need to make one final UV map with my new joined object. And there we go. We have our final UV map. Let's go on over to the shading tab. Okay, so here is the material that is controlling this kind of hammered copper effect in here. So the first thing that we need to do is turn down all of our metallic values because blender and metal don't exactly work super well together. If you leave the metallic value on, all of your textures will actually turn out black and we don't want that. But now what we need to do is take this material and actually convert it to an image. To do that, we need an image to bake to, so I'm going to select Shift A, and then I'm going to search for an image texture. I'm going to say New, and I'm just going to name it Normal Map. Um, we won't have any transparent values, so I'm going to unclick the alpha right there, and then I'm just going to say OK. And then the last thing we need to do to get this set up is to convert this to a non-color value since we are baking a normal map. It's a little weird, but I'm actually going to leave this completely unconnected. And a super weird call out here, if you have one object that has multiple materials on it, you will actually need to copy and paste this image texture onto the other material or else Blender is just going to overwrite any image node. And now we can actually bake this image. So in my little preview over here, I'm just going to go to the drop down and select the normal map just so I can get a preview here. And then now I need to make sure that I have my image node selected and I also have my object selected. And then I can go and head on over to my bake settings. Currently I'm in the Eevee engine. Eevee actually doesn't support baking, so I'm just going to switch on over to cycles, go down to my bake settings, and then in my bake type, I'm going to search for normal. And then I'm going to hit bake. I realized it was taking a really, really long time for this to bake, so I took a second look at my samples and realized that I have an ungodly high amount of samples, so I canceled my bake, lowered those samples down to 100, and pressed bake again. And there we go! We have ourselves a normal map. I like to check my work just to make sure I've done everything right. So to check it, I'm actually going to hit Shift A. I'm going to search for a normal map. I'm going to plug in the color from my image. I can't plug it directly into the normal map because it's technically a color. So I'm going to then plug in the normal to the normal slot on the principled BSDF. And you can see that, yes, we have a working normal map. Now, time to save this to our computer. Very important call out here because Blender doesn't actually save your images in your blend file. So you either need to pack it into your asset or you need to save it onto your desktop. I am taking the save it onto my desktop option. And now we actually have enough to be able to export this as an FBX and get it on over to Unity. I'm just going to rename my file and I only want to export the selected mesh. I don't need the camera or the light or anything like that. So I'm going to unselect those. I also do not need to bake the animation. So make it just a tiny, tiny bit 
faster, but then I'm just going to hit export. And now in Unity, I'm just going to drag and drop my FBX into my assets folder. And then I'm going to drag it into my scene. And you can see it kind of works, but it's not quite right. So let's fix that. The first thing we need to do is actually unpack this. Because I've put it in the assets folder, it automatically becomes a prefab. So we're going to unpack that prefab. And now I need to drag and drop my normal map into my assets folder as well. And you'll get this little message here that this isn't quite right. So we're just going to hit fix now and that should help us out with our normal map. Now don't let this part deceive you. Even though something has happened with the normal map, it is not the right thing. We actually need to create a new material in order to be able to manipulate this. So I'm going to right click, press create, and then new material. I'm just going to name it mug body. With that created, I can now drag and drop this material onto the body of the mug. And then I can drag and drop the normal map into the normal map slot on the material. I can adjust the color back to the way that I had it before, kind of this nice pinky coppery material and then I can adjust the metallic values from here. You can also of course bake your metallic map and your color map but it's either work on the front side or work on the back side so I'm just preferring to do it in unity at this point. But look at that we have our hammered copper material right here in unity but you can see that um not quite right up here and that's because we're only rendering the front side so if we change that render face to be both we're going to see the front and the inside of the mug and now the last thing we need to do is create a new material for the handle so i'm going to right click create a new material and then i'm going to also adjust this color as well back to how i had it i will also adjust the metal value and then i'm going to just drag and drop this onto the handle Turn that metallic value all the way up and that's starting to look pretty good. And that's how you do it. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.